Hey guys, what's up? I uh, thought I would just do uh, a little bit of a different video today. I uh, figured we would do just giving Lila a chance to be a cracked assassin. Just running around and doing cool stuff. I haven't really done hardly any montage videos. The only time that I've done a montage was in my video for, uh, um, for the Ray Sin build. Um, and that was just to show off what Ray Sin could do. But I don't really usually do montages of just cool moments that I had while I was fighting. So, uh, I had a couple of super, super cool moments that I really wanted to show off. And I also wanted to show off some kind of interesting techniques. And uh, there's also a build that I do at, towards the end. Uh, I actually want to do a full video on how this build works. But uh, I just, for now, I just thought, you know what, let's just throw in a cool video of it in action. Um, I'm not very experienced with it, unfortunately. I'm still kind of learning it. Um, it's actually not Lila's build. It's actually Vera's build. Um, but I figured I'd just chuck it in there nonetheless. So anyway, we're just going to have some fun today. And uh, just give Lila a chance to do what she does. Um, I'm really excited because now that I'm done with the story um, that I was doing for the last video, the Lila's origin story, um, I am finally free of all the videos that I had had on my comp on my PlayStation, and it was a lot of footage. Oh my goodness, it took so long to get through that. And then uh, Lila's origin story took forever too. And now I'm finally free. I can go back and play Elden Ring again. Um, while I was trying to get through that footage, I basically put a ban on me playing uh, or progressing the story at all. So I'm really far behind and I'm really anxious. There's so many places that I want to go and explore and so much stuff I wanted to do. And I wasn't letting myself do any of that because I didn't want to generate any more footage. I wanted to finally catch up. And uh, this video is just a way for me to finally get rid of that last little chunk of footage so all right guys what do you say let's uh let's get into it let's start off with this cool moment i had while i was practicing bloodhound step i did this completely by accident but oh my gosh did it look freaking cool check this shit out I wish I could repeat that, but honestly, I don't know how I did that. Parry's not one that I usually use very often, but I uh, started practicing it a little bit. It's really hard to do with scimitars for some reason. A lot easier with like shields or something else. <clears throat> but, you know, slowly getting a little bit better here and there. You know, in Lila's story, uh, she is supposed to be this uh, famed and lethal assassin. So it's kind of fun to show those moments where she gets to do that. You know? She's all out of potions, but it don't matter. She'll kill everything. So yeah, one of the things I love to do in Elden Ring is fight the bigger mob enemies that aren't bosses but they're just bigger things like lobsters things that i think most people will run past or not fight in general because they're hard to fight so i love fighting those kind of things and getting really good at killing them but on this particular day um i sort of 
accidentally realized or discovered that I could use iframes. Iframes are when you use an animation to uh, avoid an attack. Uh, dodge roll is essentially an iframe, but if you can use any other kind of animation, for example, torrent, um, I can use torrent to dodge the dog's attacks from here and there and also control its distance. So that super annoying attack that it does where it charges at you, I can now dodge that uh, by basically jumping on and off of torrent, um, which got to be so much fun. I generated a lot of footage doing this because I was having so much fun and I started to get really, really freaking good at it too uh, towards the end. I started to kind of figure out, oh, not only can I dodge with the iframes, but then I can hit afterwards, then I can jump off and smack the dog again, then jump back on. Yeah, it, it got to be pretty fun. Anyway, enjoy. Also, jumping off of Torrent in order to get a critical hit is like the most satisfying thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Got him. call this technique the I'm so far up your butt that I'm up your butt technique. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Get him! Up the butt! <laughs> I, I don't even know how it works. I, I, somehow his legs like keep you locked right there. I tried replicating it over and over and I couldn't get it to happen again, but <laughs> I know it's possible. It can be done. Alright, enough of the dogs. Uh, I wanted to show off a couple other stranger techniques. Um, they are useful, they're hard to do, so sometimes they can gimp you if you're not careful. But if you do them right, oh my gosh, they make you like stupid powerful. But um, this is me just kind of showing off some of those techniques. Um, you'll see. So, so this one right there, so when I turn away from the enemies and then it allows me to basically hop back in and then depending on how I target it lets me do a variety of 
weird hits that will hit them even if they have their shield up which is a big weakness of scimitars like big shields really stop scimitars so learning how to do these weird sneaky hits uh, is pretty pretty useful and um, I've started to get better at this technique I still have some more practice to do um, but it's definitely a viable way I wasn't expecting it to be viable I thought it just looked cool but no it actually it's viable so uh, I'll have to do a video on some of the weird scimitar techniques that you can do So here's the weird uh, build that I was showing off earlier. I'm going to do a, um, a sus strat video for this at some point. Um, I usually do it with this with daggers, but I thought it'd be fun to try it with scimitars. So basically this just gives me, I uh, basically just turn into a wielder of all the elements. Fire, ice, uh, lightning, soon, not, no, I don't have it on Lila, but I have it on Vera. Um, uh, magic poison <laughs> just it gives me access to everything and um, I'm not very practiced with it I am on Vera I've actually even used it in PvP and it's it's pretty good you just have to kind of get used to it it takes people off guard because they're like okay oh you're using holy no I'm using magic no I'm actually using fire no I'm using poison no I'm using blood loss like what am I using <laughs> so um, and they kind of, you can create some interesting synergies, like having uh, frozen and poison at the same time, followed up by blood loss and holy, and just, you know, get that little bit of extra damage out. By the way, most of these scimitars that I'm using are completely not upgraded, which I did on purpose because I didn't want to do too much damage too quickly. Um, so. Uh, for the because I didn't want the enemies to die too fast, I wanted like a, a good fight. You know what I mean? So yeah. But anyway, enjoy the footage. I am the master of the elements. Alright, thanks for watching you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next uh, adventure. And uh, yeah, thanks for letting Lila be the cracked assassin that she loves to be. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.